Hello my dear students I welcome you all to today's English class Dear students if you were given a chance what would you choose Do you like to have a big house car but no friends living like a prisoner or do you like to have a little money but a lot of friends and free life which one would you choose money or happiness do you think money can buy happiness i think money can buy things but it cannot buy happiness dear students rich parents teach their children what it is to be poor do you think those children will hurt the poor today we are going to discuss such a story where there is a rich father and a small child the name of the story is how poor we are today we are going to discuss sgp 1 of the story dear students first i am going to read and we will discuss once upon a time there was a very rich man he along with his family lived in a big palatial building on the top of a hill dear students once upon a time this phrase is generally used while starting a story means it happened in the past and what is the paragraph about this paragraph is about a very rich man where did he live he along with his family lived in a big palatial building and where was that building that building was on the top of a hill on the top of a hill there was a big palatial building and the rich man lived there his house was surrounded by tall boundary walls like the chinese great wall the walls were his protection from outside attacks so his house was surrounded by tall boundary walls as you can see in this picture his house was surrounded by big boundary walls tall boundary walls okay and what were the boundary walls like the boundary walls were like the chinese great wall students all of you know that the great wall of china isn't it it is one of the seven wonders of the world right so the boundary wall was compared to the chinese great wall means it was also very tall and very big the walls were his protection from outside attacks so what would it protect from it would protect from outside attacks he too had private soldiers and a great bulldog to protect him in moonlit nights the building looked very beautiful what else did he have to protect him to protect him he had private soldiers okay security guards you all know rich people have security guards and what else and a bulldog a big dog okay a great bulldog so 
private soldiers and a great bulldog protected him in moonlit nights how did the building look the building looked very beautiful okay moonlit night means when there is a moon in the sky from there one could see the river small hills long stretch of paddy fields small huts of poor farmers scattered all around all flooded by the magic of moonlight what could one see from the top from the top one could see the river small hills long stretch of paddy fields and small huts of poor farmers they were all scattered all around okay here paddy means what paddy field means rice fields okay we all know paddy fields rice fields from where we get rice and they were all scattered by flooded by the magic of moonlight here what do we mean by flooded flooded means filled filled as you can see in this picture there was a big valley and all these river small hills and paddy fields and small huts all around the valley and they were all filled by the magic of moonlight the moonlight was magical okay during moonless dark nights the building had a special look of its own the building the walls all around and the gardens inside were lit by lamps so when did the building have a special look when there was moonless dark nights moonless means there is no moon in the sky okay it was dark all around still that building had a special look how the building the walls and the gardens all of them were lit okay they were lit by lamps as you can see that great building that big building was all around lit by lamps here lit is the third form of light okay light lit lit light lit lit okay so the building the walls and the gardens they were lit by lamps from a distance one could see dazzling stars in the sky but the small huts were sleeping invisibly at night one could see dazzling stars in the sky dazzling means those bright stars in the sky but the small huts they were sleeping invisibly they could not be seen it was darkness all around it didn't have any special look like the palatial building which had a special look because of the lamps but the small huts they didn't have any special look the rich man lived there like a king very happily his happiness got doubled when he saw the poor farmers living in small huts down the hill toiling 
hard in their fields how did the rich man live the rich man lived like a king and very happily his happiness got doubled when when he saw the poor farmers living in small huts toiling hard toiling means hard work hard labor so when did his happiness get doubled when he saw the poor farmers living in small huts and they were doing hard work his only sorrow was that his only son did not like all his richness and glamour he had one son but what was his sorrow his sorrow was that his son did not like his richness and glamour his son was not affected by the richness and glamour of his father it was his only sorrow often he found him sitting alone in his garden looking down the hill at the poor farmers toiling in their fields and the rivers flowing by he was found to be very indifferent to all the richness and glamour of his father students what does he refers to and him refers to here here he refers to the rich man and him refers to his son so often the rich man found his son sitting alone where in his garden the son was sitting alone and looking down at what at the poor farmers toiling in their fields and the rivers flowing by he was found to be very indifferent indifferent means not interested he was not at all affected by the richness and glamour of his father we discussed sgp1 did you understand now we are going to discuss the comprehension question answers look at the questions question number 1 what is this paragraph about this paragraph is about a very rich man question number 2 where did the rich man live the rich man lived in a big palatial building question number 3 where was the building the building was on the top of a hill question number 4 what was his house surrounded by the house was surrounded by tall boundary walls next question what were the boundary walls like the boundary walls were like the great wall of china question number 6 what did he have to protect him he had private soldiers and a great bulldog to protect him question number 7 how did the building look in a moonlit night the building looked very beautiful in a moonlit night question number 
what could one see from the building one could see river small hills long stretch of paddy fields small huts scattered all around next question what was something special of the building when during moonless dark nights the building had a special look it was lit by lamps question number 10 the small hots were sleeping invisibly at night why the small hots were invisible at night because they were so poor that they did not have light question number 11 how did the rich man live there the rich man lived there like a king very happily next question when did his happiness get doubled his happiness got doubled when he saw the poor farmers toiling hard in their fields question number 13 what were the poor farmers doing down the hill the poor farmers were toiling hard in their fields question number 14 what was his only sorrow his only sorrow was that his son did not like all his richness and glamour next question what did the rich man often find him doing he was found sitting alone in his garden looking down the hill next question question number 16 was the son happy with all the richness and glamour of his father which line tells you so the son was not happy with the richness and glamour of his father the line that tells this is he was found to be very indifferent to all the richness and glamour of his father next question question number 17 what does the word indifferent mean the word indifferent means having no interest dear students what we have learned today in this class we have read the text and comprehended it so this is all for today's class thank you students bye bye